opacified imported hydrophobic intraocular lenses. My friends, it's very difficult to find a fully clear intraocular lens like we can see in this patient. An intense oblique beam will show changes in our hydrophobic intraocular lenses. The changes seem to depend on the manufacturing technique. Injection molded intraocular lenses like the Acrosoft lens show layers of stratification. Cryolate lenses like the Technus and the Sensor lenses show diffuse opacification. To see these changes, we have to use an oblique beam with full illumination. Here we have an example of a Hoya lens implanted last year showing remarkable amount of glistening. This is the AMO Technus lens implanted nearly 10 years ago showing fine glistening in the center of the lens and the diffuse change. This is a very rare picture and my only opacified AMO lens. This is an Alcon lens showing severe glistening and some surface changes. Both the white Alcon and the yellow Alcon can show changes. So you have the option of seeing white glistening or yellow glistening. Alcon opacification comes in three flavors. Glistening that you have seen till now, SSNG and finally lens sclerosis. They can't be seen by, by a cursory examination. You have to use oblique intense illumination. And you can see a few yellow spots, sometimes brilliant glistening like this. Severe glistening like this can degrade vision. And intraocular lenses have been removed for this purpose. This particular uveitic patient had intraocular lens implanted six years ago. Initially she had good vision, but when she came back the vision had dropped to 6 by 18. What is SSNG? SSNG stands for Subsurface Nano Glistening. Matsushima in 2009 first described changes in the surface of the Acrosoft material caused due to water ingress extremely small, so small that they can't be seen with magnification, intense magnification like we are seeing in this particular movie. They are somewhere about 50 to 100 nanometers in size. SSNG causes the surface to become a grayish white in color. The third type of opacification is central optic sclerosis. Changes taking place within the optic of the Acrosoft material. Usually you have a subsurface clear zone like we can see in this patient. It tapers off towards the optic edges. In some patients it can become more intense and the subsurface zone can become narrower. In addition in this patient we can see a type 3 capsule block with a clear zone between the intraocular lens optic and a clear posterior capsule.
for watching this movie and I hope you enjoyed it.